Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, whatever place it is you're tuned on to, Life Signatures Radio. We are in the middle of a series. We're talking about productivity. Actually, in this podcast, I talk about those three things. I talk about purpose, I talk about productivity, and I talk about resilience. And therefore, in the past three or so episodes, I've been dealing with uh, productivity and we've been talking about productivity in a virtual environment. And our title has been The Six Analog Ways to Make the Most Out of Virtual Meetings and Trainings. You know that when COVID came, it accelerated this virtual world where we telework, we work virtually, we meet virtually, we train virtually, we learn virtually, and so on. And there are some things that if you're not going to be careful, they are going to come and hurt you, especially if you log into a virtual meeting or a virtual training and you're not prepared to get the most out of it. That's what we're discussing in this episode. Today, let us look at one more way in which you can make the most out of a virtual meeting or a virtual training. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. To be honest with you, I had not been that given to virtual meetings and virtual trainings before COVID. It became a necessity when COVID came because we were locked up in our houses and uh, we had to continue meeting and the only way we could meet was through these virtual meetings. And therefore, I cannot remember the very first time that I did have a virtual meeting, but I can tell you this, that it's not the same. The thing that I can tell you is that I used to be a Toastmaster. I'm still a Toastmaster. And my Toastmaster journey was seriously hampered, seriously interfered with COVID because I loved meeting people, real people, real time and physical meetings. And I love making my presentations, my public speaking presentations to people that I can be able to see so I can see their faces and see how they're changing and how they're assimilating my message and uh, maybe they're cracking a smile here or there and, and so on. And then COVID came and now we had to do virtual meetings and I don't see people when I'm, when, when I'm speaking. I, di- I didn't love it. I didn't like it at all. And sometimes I hated technology in that you go into a meeting and someone is speaking and they're their connection or their network or their internet or their data is low and maybe they get cut off or maybe when they speak there's a delay in receiving and they just the technological hitches and so on i didn't like i didn't like it but we're talking about in a situation where the technology is not an issue the data is not an issue everything is running smoothly how can you get the most out of it in fact by the way the very first step into getting the most out of any virtual meeting or virtual training is make sure that you are in a place where you can access the virtual meeting or the virtual training without a hitch technologically. Your gadgets are okay, your data is okay, you are in a situation or an environment where you can be heard. There is no interference in the network. That's the first. It goes without saying. But we've been looking at some analog ways in which you can be able to do this. Number one, we say that 
you need to make sure that you prepare yourself mentally. If you don't prepare yourself mentally, you go in there lazy, like a dicey taking everything for granted, and you're not going to earn anything out of it. Maybe you're just going to pick a few things here and there. You would have as well not even have joined the meeting, and as well not have joined the mastermind, as well you should not have even joined the training. So prepare yourself mentally so that when you are there, you are present. Number two, purpose to give your all in the meeting. As in, make sure that you are present in that meeting and you are getting the most out of it. You are participating in this meeting. So purpose to give your all. You talked about that yesterday. Today, let's talk about distractions. Remove all distractions. That is number three. Remove all the distractions that are there. Of course, if you've already removed the distractions in terms of your mentality, you are now focused in there. But then in a virtual meeting, you notice that people normally have very many distractions because they're having a meeting with the kids available. How many times have we seen people on news being interviewed and then a child comes in and pops in? How many times have we seen people, very embarrassing situations, they're tuned into a meeting and they're going to a loo They're going to the toilet with their gadgets on. How many times did you see that mayor, that mayor who was uh, in a meeting and then he went to the toilet with his phone in the toilet and his microphone on. And therefore all his activities in that particular toilet were broadcast in the Zoom meeting. Make sure that you remove all distractions in the environment immediate environment in which you are if you can lock yourself up in a room just do exactly that it's a simple and yet very profound way to make sure that you are you're getting the most out of a virtual meeting you are not only protecting yourself and not only insulating and making sure that you get the best quality out of the meeting you're also making sure that your friends the participants take care of the participants in the meeting How many times have we seen you go into a virtual meeting and someone leaves his microphone on and the child is playing or crying in the background and every conversation that they are making in the background is hard. He tells you that they are not even present in the meeting. They actually have come to distract the meeting. Of course, you're not in control of those guys. You're not in control of the external distractions, but you're in control of your own internal distractions and environmental distractions. Get rid of them. We're living in a life that is filled with distractions. With the moment you wake up, you're distracted. The very technology that you're using to access the virtual meeting is filled with the ability and the capacity for you to be distracted, otherwise known as quote unquote multitasking. You are not multitasking, you're on Facebook. You're supposed to be present in this meeting. You are on Twitter, you are on the internet browsing and you are answering emails when you are supposed to be in this meeting. Remove all these distractions. Purpose not to multitask in this meeting. It is possible to have a meeting going on and you are on your social media channels. It is possible to have a meeting going on and you are in another room attending to kids and attending to visitors. That's why I said earlier that you need to schedule your day. Create a timetable. This is the time I'm going to play with my kids. This is the time I'm going to do this. The house help is going to get the kids away. My my wife or my husband is going to get the kids away and so on. Schedule these things. Remove these distractions. Give yourself some kind of respect. And the people that are attending the meeting, give them some kind of respect. A distraction is not necessarily a bad thing. It could be something valuable that you're doing but disrupting the priority at the moment. Make sure that you're not disrupting the priority at the moment. The priority at the moment is a meeting. It is a training. It is the mastermind. You could be answering emails, yes. You're supposed to answer emails, but not at this moment. Maybe you could be on the social media pages answering a question. Some customers ask you a question. This is not the moment. That is a distraction. It's a distraction to you. It's a distraction to the people who are attending the meeting. A distraction is not necessarily a bad thing. It could be something valuable, but you're doing it at the wrong particular time. 
Just because this valuable thing is interfering with the virtual meeting, it becomes a distraction. So eliminate all the distractions. Deal with all the distractions beforehand. Of course, there are very many distractions that you might not necessarily uh, be in control of, but they are those that you are in control of. Deal with them beforehand. Switch off your email. Switch off your social media channels. Stay put. This is the place that you're supposed to be in at this moment. Prioritize it. And so on and so forth. Tomorrow we're going to look at one other interesting way in which you can eliminate distractions and in which you can get the most out of your analog, sorry, your virtual meetings, your virtual trainings, your virtual masterminds in this virtual world. Until then, bye-bye. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.